Hello everyone, welcome to Fish On Magazine. Today we're going to show you and share with you some exciting tips on using soft plastic for pond fishing. And here with me today is Nigel. Hi, hi everyone. Alright Nigel, can you share with our viewers uh, what kind of soft plastics are normally used for pond fishing? Okay, most certainly. I think most guys would be familiar with a pre-rigged soft plastic which a lot of people actually use in the pond. This is our storm uh, ripping minnow uh, which you have seen and uh, you, what you do is just uh, put on a snap and away you go, you can fish straight. But these days a lot of people are looking for something that's a bit more different that they can have control over. So different style of rigging, uh, different actions and uh, different forms of fishing. So here are some of the basic ones uh, that we uh, have. Uh, a very popular one is a curtail grub and uh, the other one uh, which I have here as well is a paddle tail minnow which uh, is quite uh, commonly used and uh, something a bit more interesting and a bit different is a creature bait or a craw if you like. Wow that sounds really interesting. Um, how about you uh, share with the viewers how do you normally rig up all these soft plastics? Okay sure. Uh, for the first one, which is a curtail grub, uh, we normally just rig it with a standard jig head. Uh, this is our VMC Barbarian uh, ball jig head, and we just rig it straight up like that. Okay, the other one, uh, which is similar, is a paddle tail minnow or paddle tail mm -hmm. shad, which we rig on the same jig head again. And uh, the other one that's a bit more interesting is the creature bait, which we actually rig with a worm hook and uh, this actually gives it a weedless uh, capability so you can fish it into heavy cover uh, into structure and not get snagged up uh, the way we rig this up is we have a sinker which we slide down on our leader and so this is like a texas rig okay. all this sounds so exciting i can't wait to cast the first saw blasting to the pond shall we go fishing nigel yeah let's do it man right <laughs> of the retrieves that we actually use in the pond, uh, especially when the water is murky, you don't want to retrieve it too far. So what we do is actually pop the soft plastic close to the bottom uh, as such. And so you just slowly uh, hop it, uh, hop it up, pick up the slack, let it sink to the bottom, hop it up again, let it sink to the bottom, pick up the slack, and uh, so on. So you just slowly hop it over the bottom and as you're coming closer because some of the fishes like to hang close to the edge what you actually can do is to drop your rod and slowly retrieve if you pop it too close and the fish takes it and you strike what will happen is the soft plastic will just come straight flying up to you so you keep your rod tip down to slowly retrieve if the fish hits uh, then your rod's not in the upward position
Okay, we got a nice uh, finger mark uh, on a uh, paddle tail minnow, a uh, 3 inch. Uh, I gave a nice little fight, which was really enjoyable. in the gold and black. This is one of my favorite colors here. That was a wonderful experience that I really had. Nigel, thank you very much. You're most welcome, Fred. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tips and techniques that we shared with you all. Um, fishing soft plastics in a pond. Hopefully you all can go out there, give it a try, always try, don't give up there many techniques that you can try, different retrieves and rod actions and stuff like that. It's all good fun, it's nice to catch fish on uh, soft plastics and artificials, so go out there and give it a try. I definitely will give it a try again. To all the viewers, thank you for watching this episode of Fish on Mac. We'll see you again. We'll see you soon. <laughs>